guys so i'm just going to be starting out with just foundation on because this is a talk through video and i don't want it to take too long so i went ahead and did my foundation and i just used the lancome taint idol ultra 24 hour makeup and of course today we're going to be using the huda beauty palette and i ordered it about i think maybe like a week and a half ago and as soon as i saw it i just knew i had to have it so i hope i like the colors i haven't even touched it yet i'm taking the plastic off so these are all of the colors and I'm so excited to use this. So of course, first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Then I'm just gonna put a little bit of translucent powder over that so that the shadows blend out better and easier. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna be taking is Henna and it's at the very bottom right here. It's just a really pretty, like, orangey color. Like a soft terracotta orange color. And it's just obviously the perfect, like, crease shade. And I'm just going to place that in my crease area. And by the way, I'm just using a double-ended Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And I think this is the one that came with the Makeup by Mario palette, I think. So this look is going to be very warm and, of course fall inspired then I'm gonna go in with man eater which is right here and it's just a really nice like matte cranberry shade and I'm going to take like a dense crease brush like this one and go into like my deeper crease And I'm just going to take like a pencil crease brush and I'm going to go in with Bossy, which is just like a nice plum color. And I'm going to go into my crease again. So I'm just basically going darker and darker with the colors that I put in my crease. But this one I'm just going to try to focus more out here and not bring it in as much. Now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of henna, which is the very first color we put on, and blend out my crease a little bit more. So it's not too harsh. And now for my brow bone color, I'm just going to take this one and this one, and this one is sandalwood and bay. So sandalwood is kind of like, it kind of reminds me of Saddle by MAC. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, it kind of looks like Saddle by MAC. And the reason that I'm mixing Bay with Sandalwood is so that Bay doesn't look too light on my brow bone. Because I don't want it to look too chalky. So, that's why I'm putting Sandalwood with Bay. So far, so good with these colors. They're like, well, the matte colors anyway. They're super pigmented. They blend so well. So, two thumbs up. For right now so now i'm gonna start going into the more glittery colors because most of them are pretty glittery but this these two are two shimmer so all of these are glitter and then the two right here right here are shimmery colors sorry if you can hear the camera focusing i'm sure that's kind of annoying but yeah i'm gonna be hmm i think i'm gonna take um probably trust fund for the outer portion of my lid then i'm going to take rose gold for the middle and then i'm going to put angelic which is right here and put that in my inner tear duct so i'm basically, basically going to put trust fund rose gold and then angelic so yeah and the reason that i'm using all three is because i want to see how all of them look i'm just going to use just a flat um lid brush to apply it so I'm just going to go in with the Trust Fun first. It doesn't look as chunky after you put your brush in there. So maybe that's just how it looks at first. Because it's coming off a little chunky. So I might need some Fix Plus. Oh yeah, I need some Fix Plus. 
See, as you can see, it's not as pigmented as I would want it to be without Fix Plus. So I'm just gonna get some Fix Plus to spray my brush so that the color shows up a little bit better. Please excuse all of my breakouts over here. Uh, I always break out when I travel, it's kind of annoying. Okay, it looks a little bit better, but I'm not sure yet how I feel about it. Hmm. So far, I don't know how I like the glittery colors. So yeah, don't spray too much Fix Plus on your brush, just like a little bit, not too much. And then the colors do show up better than without it. Okay, now I'm just going to take Rose Gold, which is right next to that. Um, it's pretty much a really pretty Rose Gold color. I'm just gonna take the same brush, but I'm taking the other side and applying that like towards the front of that. These are a little chunky, um, so I don't like that about the glitter shadows. But I kind of expected it looking at them, but I didn't think it would be this chunky. Okay, now I'm just going back around that with Man Eater, which is the second color I applied, and going around that so that the edges aren't too harsh. So yeah, I really like both of those two colors. I like Rose Gold more than Trust Fund, but they are a little bit chunky. Um, I'm gonna go back to the eyes and finish off my face. So now I'm just going to apply some concealer. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Concealer. And I do like this one a lot better than her other concealers. I like the formulation. I like the applicator. So I like this one a lot. Okay, now I'm just going to set my concealer with my translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And I didn't know I stopped recording this, so I already have like some on my face now. But I'm just going to set the concealer. Okay, now I'm just going to set the rest of my foundation with my powder and I'm going to be using this Smashbox Photo Filter Powder. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Yeah, Photo Filter Creamy Powder. Yeah, and this is in the color number nine. And then I'm just going to bronze my face with my Guerlain um, Bronzer in number eight. I am going to do a liquid liner, but I'm just going to do like a short wing. Like out here, I'm not going to take it all the way in. And I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner. And next for my lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with the same three colors that I applied in my crease area in the same order. So I'm going to go in with Henna, Man Eater, and Bossy. And now I'm just going to apply some eyeliner to my waterline and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Cold Pencil. I haven't used this in a while. 
oops because i've been using my anastasia um cold pencil because you don't have to sharpen that one And now I'm just going to apply the inner tear duct color and I told y'all I was going to use angelic which is over here and it's just like a really pretty like soft pink with gold shimmers in it and I'm going to be using this small smudge brush I guess that's what you would call this I have no idea and I'm not going to apply fix plus for this because I want to see how it looks without without it first Okay, this one you don't really need Fix Plus if you don't want to use it. It's not necessary like the other colors, I feel. Or if you um, use like glitter glue or something um, from like Too Faced, I think that would work really well with the glitter shadows. So you can actually see the colors show up if you don't use Fix Plus. So I had a feeling that the those chunky colors would be a little bit harder to work with, even when I looked at them, but the just regular shimmery ones are really nice but all the colors are like gorgeous but the matte colors are amazing like those are bomb but i'm not the biggest fan of the chunky color but i do like the shimmery shade that i just put in my inner tear duct a little bit better and that's angelic once again so so pretty you can see the pink and the glitter even when you put it on your eye too so that's really nice because sometimes when you see a shimmery shadow in a pan you don't really see the same color when you put it on your eyes so I do like that about the color I just applied okay now I'm just going to apply some lashes and I'm going to be using the little lashes in the style Vegas so these are really pretty um well not on anyway I haven't even tried these yet so I hope I like how they look on the eye just as much as I do in the packaging but they are pretty okay guys so I really do like these Vegas lashes so I probably will be ordering some more because that was like um, the first pair that I ordered from them. And I almost forgot to put on highlighter. So before I put on mascara, I'm just going to apply my highlighter and I'm going to be using my MAC highlighter in the color Gold Deposit. And I don't have my highlighter brush with me. So I'm just going to use this, which is technically a crease brush, but we're just going to roll with it. So I'm just going to swirl that in there and then tap off. The excess then I apply that to the high points of my cheekbones okay now I'm going to apply my mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I'm going to be using this Smashbox full exposure mascara and I did recently just get this and I really do like it I love the packaging as well by the way it has like suede like a suede top it's really nice it's just how the wand looks. It's not too big, it's not too small. And now to finish off the look, we're just going to do lips. And I'm just going to mix two different liquid lipsticks. And I'm going to be mixing this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Naughty by Nature. And it's just a really pretty chocolate brown color. And I've been wanting to use this ever since I got it. I think Kendra and I mentioned this in our VIB sale haul. And then with that, I'm just going to mix Pumpkin by Kylie Cosmetics. And I have not used this yet either. So I did mix these colors together on my hand and it looked pretty. So let's just hope it turns out well on my lips. So yeah, so as far as this palette, I really, really do like it, but I do prefer the matte colors in this a little bit more, well, actually a lot more than the glittery shades. And then the shimmery shades are really, really nice, even though I only used one, which was angelic here in the corner, but it's super pigmented and it has a really nice soft texture. But the glittery shades, the two that I use, Rose Gold and Trust Fund, they're gorgeous, gorgeous colors. They're just a little bit harder to work with. Um, so you do have to use a Fix Plus or glitter glue to get them to show up the way you want on your eyes but nonetheless really pretty colors so this is a pretty good palette i really do like it but i just wish that the glittery shades worked a little bit better 
So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time.